Be sure to thank HyperX Thermaltake and Sapphire in the comments. Without them, we wouldn't be here. And also be sure to click on the links in the description. Checking out Zotec right now. Uh, now Zotec had the amp edition of the 980 and the 970. Uh, they're kind of moving to something new. That one was a custom PCB. They've moved back to the reference and they've actually overclocked it even more than their custom one, which is kind of crazy. Uh, and they've, they're coming out with the amp extreme. Uh, the regular amp was two and a half slot. This one's actually gonna be a uh, dual slot. And they're saying that the performance is better and it's going to be about the same as far as silence and uh, you know cooling goes. So that's pretty cool. Let's check out their their other 970 uh, amp Omega Core Edition. And the boost clock on this is going to be all the way up at 1304. So massively overclocked right there with this little guy. And one more thing, uh, all all the units that they have right now have a metal shroud, which is kind of cool. This is a little different. This is a 970, and it's got a plastic shroud. So they're thinking about bringing this out. They're not sure if they're going to or not. Uh, it's also very small, so it'll be good for ITX builds. So let us know in the comments what you guys think of you know something in this size range. And uh, if you guys want a nice 970 that's a decent size, only one six pin, only one six pin? Wow, only one six pin uh, power connector on this. Pretty cool. All right, now let's check out the, the uh, Z boxes and stuff. All right, check this out. These little guys right here, uh, we've got an AMD one and an Intel one. The Intel actually has a little bit more horsepower, a little bit more RAM. But the bottom line here with these is that they are, uh, you know, complete computers. You can install Linux on these, take them around, whatever. You can even install Windows on both of these if you like. Uh, but the thing that I think most people are going to be doing with these is using them as Steam boxes or something like that. You put them in another room and then you stream from your main rig. So this is your entire little PC that goes into your, you know, living room or whatever. Uh, and this would be also be really good for like a media center PC or something like that. Completely tiny uh, units. And then moving on over here, you see you've got plenty of different, um, uh, you know, different units here. I wanted to check out this one because it's passively cooled. So a little bit of this passively cooled one right here. It's actually a nice looking little chassis. So a lot of interesting things you can do with that one. Let's move on down and take a look at some of the bigger stuff here. Now this is the uh, the Z-Box, um, and there's three different varieties of the Z-Box here. Uh, these two have an Intel with onboard graphics, and then we have an AMD FX 7600 here with discrete graphics. So it's going to be the fastest. Uh, these are probably going to be used for signage. You could use them for like old games and stuff, but they're probably going to be used in stores for signage and that sort of thing. Let's take a look at the big guy over there. Now, this one here is the Z-Box EN860. And this one features an i5. Um, you can get an i7 in this thing. And it also has an integrated uh, NVIDIA GeForce GTX 860M. So they're using some laptop parts in there. But you should be able to game just fine on this. I think the MSRP for the baseline model is going to be around 500, but don't quote me on that because I'll probably get shot if I say the wrong thing. Um, I also want to mention the Sphere. Check this thing out. The Sphere, this is the uh, O1520, and uh, it's, it's modeled after the, the mod. So they actually take the ideas from the community and then turn them into actual products. So this Sphere, it actually turns and unlocks, but then you can get to your components on the inside. But um, yeah, it looks, it looks pretty cool. Not quite the Death Star, but it's a nice black Sphere. So they're, they're working with a lot of monitors, and you'll see there's lots of case mods going on. Um, they have a, a few different uh, design ideas. These are not like final production models, but these are design ideas from modders. They want you guys to go online and vote uh, for, for your favorite. And uh, they're going to pick someone out of all the people that votes on their Facebook page. They're going to give away um, a couple of different Z-Boxes. One's passively cooled, and they're also going to give away one of their AMP graphics cards. So go and vote on the one that you like the best. It may not necessarily be a production model that, that comes out that's exactly like that, but they may uh, take design elements from that and uh, use it in the final. We have several different case mods here from BS Mods. This is probably the biggest freaking reservoir I've ever seen. And it's like, it's like a lava lamp on acid. Aren't lava lamps already on acid? It's like a double acid trip going on inside here. Uh, so you can see we have the bended tubes in there. It's pretty fancy. Uh, Water-cooled Zotac graphics card. And then on, on this case mod, this used to be a thermal tank case. They've completely just gone crazy with it. And of course they've rerouted the GPU up here to the top, all the way up on the top. It's kind of impractical, but it's kind of you know fun for show at the same time. Over here, they've got three of the uh, 970s in SLI, just showing off what they can do. So very cool stuff uh, from Zotac this year. Let us know what you think in the comments. So we're at Be Quiet, taking out all their really clean uh, products, especially the Dark Power uh, Pro 5, or 850 watt, that, that looks really nice. The new uh, thing at the show is the Dark Rock TF and also the Shadow Rock LP. Now, um, the Dark Rock TF, you know, it's, it's interesting uh, because this is going to fit into a lot of smaller cases. 
Um, it's probably going to do a really good job with cooling. I mean, we haven't tested it ourselves yet, uh, but the you know um, the rated TDP is 220 watts. And then if you move over here, this is going to be great for HTPCs, you know, really small cases uh, where you want really good cooling but a lot of times there's not a lot of options. So uh, this one's gonna be good for about 130 watt CPUs. So that'll support, you know, most of the Z97 stuff out there. I mean, it's pretty much everything I could think of unless you're doing some extreme overclocking, but uh, yeah, this should get you by just fine. A lot of fins on there and actually very decent thermal mass. See those heat pipes going in there um, to the bottom. So it's, this is actually really heavy. I like feeling all that thermal mass in something that small. We all know HyperX makes gaming hardware, but they also have a YouTube channel centered on gaming culture that is about to hit 100,000 subscribers. Go ahead and click here to check it out. You may not know it, but Sapphire is sort of the AMD brand. They even make the OEM cards for AMD themselves. Click on the screen to see what's new and uh, maybe some secrets. Thermaltake always has a lot going on, but this year they really have a lot going on and they have upped their game. Click on the screen to check it out.